This is a typical African high street. It's busy and it's packed. A lot of these people have moved from rural locations to look for work in town. When they get here, they do not have the capabilities to still grow fruit. They don't have the space to grow vegetables. There's a small charity called Hala who really help these guys. They show them how to grow fruit and veg and do all those things in really small houses, really small tenements. I'm just going to go and see what they do and how they do it. I don't know what your house is like, but mine is substantially different to this. What they've tried to do is recreate the things that they might have had in a village. Everything that you think a family could need is done in amazingly small spaces, because that's what people have. They have very, very small spaces in these big urban slums. You've got a myriad of different things. You've got basic tomato plants, you've got peppers. Steve, what's this one called? That is amarantas. Amarantas, there's some spinach down there. This is uh, aloe, aloe vera. vera, a medicinal plant. If you've got cuts and bruises, antiseptics. It's like when they were living in a village, they could grow their own vegetables. Now they're in town, still capable of doing that. One of the other aspects of what they do here, Steve's got a fish farm. Actually, it's a series of bread baskets with plants growing in them, with tanks below them. And what they have is they have fish in these and they pump water up through these channels and then the water slowly goes back down. The vegetables grow really well because they take all the nutrients out that the fish have basically pooed into the water. So that nutrient rich water goes up here, goes into the soils, the plants grow really well and the fish get back a re-aerated clean water. On the roof of these houses is a solar panel. It's really quite small, but it's enough to run a small pump to do the fish, enough for a bit of electricity for the evening so they can either work or the kids can read. And having just a small amount of electricity from your own source is fantastic. Simple problem in Africa is clean drinking water. It's always been a problem. What there is plenty of is water bottles. They're almost everywhere. Basically, you get some water, you stick it in a bottle, and you let the sun do the work. UV light kills all the bacteria, and you get perfectly drinkable water after six hours. It's very simple. It's also very free. If you want a cold beer, or if you, you, know, you want your water cold down, you can keep things in this box. And it's basically, it's some sort of uh, charcoal refrigerator. Doesn't actually work off electricity. Pour water over the top of the charcoal, it evaporates, and the change in temperature makes this cool box. It can lower the temperature by about five degrees. So you can store water in there, it comes out colder than the natural surrounds, you can keep food in there. I didn't really know you could do that, and it's a clever thing. This is a, obviously a chicken and uh, they use them for all sorts of different things. Obviously you get eggs and they eat them once in a while, but really they often use them as currency. They breed chickens. When they've got five or six, they might give them to the local doctor or something like that in place of actual money. Bizarrely, the price of this chicken is about 350, 400 uh, Kenyan shillings, which is exactly the same price as a chicken is in the UK. So, um, you know, maybe that is the international price of a chicken, four quid. The other thing they do is they make biogas. Now, what you have in Africa is lots of lovely cow dung. So you stick it in a mincer and you put any vegetable green matter in with it. Grind it up. So basically what you get is this fantastic green sludge. What you do is you take the muck we had before, you stick it in here, it starts to ferment. When it ferments, it makes methane gas. Pipe through to the house next door to what they cook on. You can get an hour and a half a day of cooking gas from these tanks, which is amazing. This is Steve and Paula's house. It looks really hot and quite uncomfortable from the outside, but bizarrely, it's not that hot in here. Uh, they have sort of air conditioning. It's a hole at the bottom. The air circulates, it comes in, then it goes out through this hole in the top, so they get constant airflow. It's got a little bit of electricity from the solar panel. They've got fish outside. They've got the vegetables outside. They've got some income from the chickens. And actually, that's all been sorted out by Haller. Haller have showed them how to do this. They've helped them do the vegetables. They've showed them how to do the fish. And what I love about this is incredibly simple, isn't it? It's just the local guys helping the local guys. And, you know, for me it works.